There has been little information available on COVID-19 in children because there have been relatively few cases. Well, now researchers in BC have launched a new study to find out how many children and young people may have been infected and what role they might play in the transmission of the virus. As Ted Chernecki reports, their findings might help shape future COVID-19 reg regulations. One thing that's certain about COVID and kids, and that is we certainly don't know everything that's going on. I think it's been a little bit of a puzzle from the start of the, the pandemic in terms of why kids don't seem to have that severe disease. Um, I think the, the honest answer right now is that nobody knows. We do know a lot of kids have the virus but show no symptoms. And because they're not coughing and sneezing, one theory is they're not likely spreading the virus as much as adults. But UBC wants to know for sure and is asking up to 16,000 kids and young adults for a tiny blood sample. So we're hoping that through this, this study and through testing for antibodies, we'll be able to get a full picture of how many children and young adults in BC may have been infected during the course of the pandemic. Blood will show if COVID was once or perhaps is still there. A questionnaire will ask about the behavioural environment of those who test positive, and from that they can start modelling. Model what that, what that looks like and what we would expect to happen, you know, in different scenarios moving forward and to try and help policymakers and public health officials make, you know, as, as informed decisions as possible. Because they showed no symptoms, most kids were never tested. This study will have the benefit of 2020 hindsight. Whether the participant is sick now or not won't matter because antibodies leave a viral trace, one that can indicate which virus caused the antibody to be created in the first place and perhaps even why that person showed no symptoms. Ted Chernecki, Global News, Vancouver.